Welcome to another Building Java Desktop Applications video. And in this video, we're going to take a look at traversing the file system. Now, if you're building applications, quite often you come across the need to be able to access the file system and work your way through the file system looking for a particular file or a directory. Um, so um, that's what we're going to take a look at today. Now, if you do a quick search on the web, you'll find plenty of examples of how you can do this. Um, and one of the most popular means of doing it is using is to go through the file system using a recursive call. And that's what we're going to look at here today. So we're going to build a little application that will traverse our file system and um, write out everything it finds as it goes through. And it will go through the file system by continually calling itself, and hence the recursive call. So I'm going to switch to Eclipse and create myself a new Java project. Um, what should we call it? Um, uh, I'll call it uh, File Walker. And we're going to just accept the rest of the defaults. And that gives us our basic project. And into our project, um, a Java class. Oop, press the wrong thing. Um, so a Java class. And what should we call this class? We'll call this class. Uh, well, first of all, we're going to put it in the software pulse.io package. And we'll call the class walk directory. Okay. And we want a main method because we're going to run this class. And we just press finish. And that will generate our code stub. So, nice and simple, we're going to create a file array which will hold our files. And we will create a new object from that. Um, so, let's see, come on. right. What I've done is I've created a subdirectory called transfer test off my C drive because I don't want to iterate through the thousands of files on my hard drive. Um, so I've put a sample set of files in that directory, and that's what we'll traverse through. Um, so we're going to create a file object um, and from that we're going to ask for the list of files within that directory. Um, I'm just going to import the file IO um, and then we're going to show, uh, we're going to call, sorry, um, a method called show files and we will pass our list of files into show files and show files is going to be the method where it looks at each file and writes out the information about it so we'll just create that method or the stub for that method here and first thing we'll do is we're going to pass it an array of files and what we'll do is we will iterate through each one of those files um, and as we go we will test to see whether the file um, is a directory and if it is then we will write out 
um, to the console the information about that directory. So first of all, we'll say it's a directory. And then we will get the file name using the get name method. I'm struggling to get get name to come up. Um, so that will write out the directory, the, the label directory, colon, space, and then the file name. And because it's a directory, the directory may itself have files. So we're going to call this method again show files um, and we will pass it um, file dot and we'll call this list files again so that we can get all the files from this directory and pass it into show files so that's the recursive call part coming on every time it comes comes across a directory it will call this method and you can end up 20 or 30 methods deep um, if you had 20 or 30 directories or subdirectories. So that's what you do if it is in a directory. If it's not a directory, then we simply want to do a um, output to um, to say what the file name is, because that's what we're interested in. Or we're interested in, if it's not a directory, then tell us what the file is. We, we of course, could um, get any bit of information we wanted. But in this particular case, we'll just get the name. And that's all there is to it. So we've done that so we'll remove that tag and we've done that so we'll remove that tag I'll just save the code now before we run it let's take a look at what I've created so as you can see here um, I'm not showing you the, the path that we're in but we're in the transfer test directory which is just off the, the root the C drive and in it we've got one two three four five six seven seven directories um, but actually just to make this a better test I'm going to put that directory into there so we can see we've got a directory and a number of files and then a number of files um, and we've got in the root directory where, that we'll be going through, not only will it find the six directories, but it will also find two files at the root level. And then there's a number of files in various directories. Um, oh, and there's another subdirectory log, um, which has got a file in it. So that's what we're expecting. Oops. So. As they say, without further ado, we'll press the button, run the code, and see what we get. Um, you have to forgive my system. It's, I think it's busy doing something else. Um, so, there we are. It was all a bit, yeah. So the first thing it did was it found the build and an app directory. And then it found about ship JPEG. So if we go and have a look, you can see there's the build and app directory. And it's come in there and then it's found, um, what was it? About ship directory then battleship 3 icon 
then default silhouette, then it found a directory called log, and if we, so it would have gone into there, then it found ship log, then it would have come back out, um, and it's found Royal Navy, then it's found sample ship, ship, um, ship log, dot xc ship log dot jar i can't see oh there's the ship log icon and then test fleet xml and then it's gone on to the next directory which is eclipse um, there okay so you can see that it's walked its way through the directories it goes finds the first directory and then drills all the way down that tree path until it gets to the end, then it rattles all the way back up, finds the next directory under C, um, or in our case, transfer test, and then rattles all the way down that subdirectory before coming back up and then rattling through the next. And it keeps going like that until it's exhausted all possible paths. So there you go. Really nice and simple way of traversing um, files and a directory and as you go you can find the file or the information you're looking for and um, stop at that point um, terminate the loop if you want so hope you have fun with that and find it of use um, don't forget to go to softwarepulse.co.uk to download the source code if you want and also to take a look at the other tutorials and um, information that you can find about building, writing Java code. Well, that's all for now. Have fun programming.